obviously in um, the 40th year of live theatre, um, I'm really thrilled that we'll be reviving Cooking with Elvis. It was, it was the first play, um, the first full play I, I did at live. Um, and although it's the 40th year of the theatre company, I think it's the 15th year of the, uh, the first production. Um, and it's been one of the most produced plays since we did it um, around the world. Um, uh, and so it, it's a really important play for me um, for two reasons. Uh, because it's cemented and it was the start of my relationship with live theatre um, and Max uh, in particular. Um, but also it, it, it was the play that gave me um, a sort of international life because it's been translated into so many languages. Um, and um, it was the, f the first play by a living writer to happen in Cuba. Um, a living English writer, sorry, in Cuba. Um, and so, um, so it, it's quite an important play for me and so I'm really thrilled that we're going to um, revive it uh, as part of the season in, in the autumn. But what's very interesting is that the whole tradition of live, which is about f finding new writers and promoting their work um, uh, uh, and concerns about ordinary people in the Northeast, is going to be carried on because it's, uh, it's going to be in sort of rep, if you like, with um, a play called The Wet House by uh, a, a first-time writer. Um, and I read the play um, about six months ago, and it, uh, and it has some very, very strong and striking uh, writing in it. And um, there's somebody with a sort of a, a, almost a, a ready-made voice. And so I, I'm, I think it's a, it's a brilliant play to have in combination with my old classic, um, if you can call it that. But it shares a lot of the uh, robustness, I think. Um, it's it's uh, a, a, a lot of the humour. It's a very witty play. Uh, at, at the White House, um, but, but, but it also it has this. It's a. It's about the wreck and the sadness of everyday lives, which is a, a thing that um, has been a constant theme of lives' work, uh, especially through, um, you know, people like Tom Hadaway, uh, who was uh, acutely aware of how ordinary lives are blighted by huge. Um, social um, uh, movements. So I, th I think that what's great about the combination of these plays and I think what they share is this interest that has been a long-standing tradition of life there to look at how, um, how ordinary um, inauspicious lives are affected by huge economic and social transformations and I think that at a time when we're going through quite a um, quite a, 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 a challenging time uh, that these these plays um, look at individual lives and um, uh, find the comedy and the tragedy uh, that that's, pl that's played out um, and so I, I and I think particularly the web times um, uh, is look at alcoholism, the problematic um, reaction to it, um, and what we can do about it is, is a beautiful emblem for a lot of the contradictions that, that we have to deal with, um, uh, and I, I think it's a very uh, beautiful play.